Good afternoon, everyone. Will everyone please rise, take off non all non-religious and non-graduation headwear, and please recite the Pledge of Allegiance to me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Students, teachers, administration, family members, and distinguished guests. First, I just want to congratulate the greatest class ever, class of 2017. <laughs> My name is Joseph Cho. And I have had the pleasure of serving as Wilcox's ASB president this year. But to most of you, parents included, I'm just another person that speaks before your child graduates. This graduation, we have one objective, and that is to celebrate. High school graduation is just one of the many accomplishments that we will achieve in our lives. But if anything, if these long, intense, and often difficult four years have taught us anything at all, it is that we should celebrate victories at every chance we get. So let's celebrate. Let's celebrate with friends, with family, and even with strangers, because why not? Class of 2017, we have made it this far. We deserve to celebrate. Congratulations. Accomplishments. 
The success is definitely ours today. The students who spent days and nights, backs bent, and eyes fixed to be here today. It is also our parents, loving family members, and friends' success. They became our biggest supporters and pushed us to our brinks. Finally, it is our teachers and staff, staff success. They have spent countless hours working to influence us to be, to be the people that we are today. This is for all of us. People often try to sum up high school in one word. It is described as memorable, unpredictable, treacherous, incredible, tiresome, influential, special, connected, stressful, and unforgettable. However, the beauty of high school lies in the underlying fact that high school is none of these, yet all of these at the same time. Each of these descriptions would not function without the existence of the others. Your high school experience cannot be memorable without the unpredictability of your friends and your actions. It cannot be influential without the connected stress that all students face in the pursuit of finding their identity as a person. And the tiresome nights will always be special and unforgettable in a very ironic way. Oh, yeah. We're heading into a world that functions identically. Above all, chargers are beggars. In fact, when people ask how Wilcox is different from other high schools, I tell them that there is no place with such a wide variety of individuals from different socioeconomic, political, and cultural areas. I look around and I see hundreds of different faces. That is what makes Wilcox so beautiful. Here, I stand on this oak wood carved podium in the center of thousands of cheering, ecstatic, and reminiscing families and friends. In the gentle mix of coral and primrose views of a summer sunset, the radiating heat warms our black cats and dogs, or not. <laughs> on this graduation day, I stand here as Wilcox High School's first female Muslim hijab wearing senior class president. <laughs> an organizer and a president, my life became less about being the same and more about being different. This would have been possible had Wilcox not been so accepting, so open, and so diverse. I want you to take a quick trip to the first day you were here at Wilcox. We entered as freshmen, naive and unaware of what to expect in those first moments. We walked aimlessly about the campus that seemed so huge to us then. From freshman year onward, we've been through a lot. Those intense moments of studying to the countless times you asked us, is there anything else to do other than fill up tissue paper when that stack seemed absolutely endless? Those moments with your friends when you laugh so hard, you feel like you're getting a six pack, your eyes get watery, and you can't seem to care about who's watching you. That day where we actually got up at 6.30 just to watch the sunrise together because it mattered. The moments of utter fatigue and disgusting stickiness throughout your body during fantastics or a sporting game, but pushing through, exhorted by the sheer excitement of the crowd. That feeling of unity when you perform the perfect array of notes that echo through the gym walls during a rally or a concert. That clutch feeling when you wrote the best journalism article you've ever written, three hours before deadline. <laughs> that fresh feeling under the bright bright Friday night lights to the rushed scrambled assignments throughout SSR. The hours spent perfecting sound systems, spotlights, and acts across the sleek black theater stage, or that time you accidentally dropped an egg in champs and your light flashed before your eyes. The campus be became small to us, yet it carried all of these amazing gifts, opportunities, and ultimately a place for happiness within it. I want you to go back to those last five seconds of full building where you step back in panic and a rush to find yourself calmly saying, we did it. Now, I want you to bring yourself back to today. The day you can truly magnify saying, we did it. But, is there something further to our potential? Prophet Muhammad's cousin said, You presume you are a small entity, but within you is enfolded the entire universe. 
In the eyes of the universe, we are insignificant. A dot, a dot sized plot of light amidst the hundreds of other planetary systems. Yet, how can we deem ourselves insignificant when we are a world's creators, innovators, and designers? We are greater than our sports, our activities, our spirit, and our academics. Indeed, our lives have taught us much more than we can see, even through a telescope. We learn perseverance through our sports, dedication through our activities, love through our spirit, and patience through our academics. They have instilled in us potential and the entire universe's power at our disposal. When you walk through these halls, you see all that you are, all that you sought to be, and what you are. As you walk through these halls for the very last time, I dream that you see all you can ever be, because within you is an entire universe of potential. Within you is an entire system working to perfect your every move. What will your next one be? Whatever it may be, follow that heartbeat telling you, I did it. Our influence, our potential, and our success do not stop at spirit, or sports, or activities, or academics. Instead, we are part of the instruments needed to create a symphony of aspiration, of change, and of innovation. Here's what they say that all good things come to an end. I say, greater things are yet to come. It's been an honor and pleasure to serve as your senior class president this year. Good evening, parents, families, teachers, faculty, and classmates. We are now at the end of another chapter of our lives on the cusp of the next era of our education. We have reached the pinnacle of our high school career, despite often being challenged by the exhausting struggles of high school, like sports, finals, and the countless school activities many of us participate in. These past four years are bursting at the seams with memories of fun and friendship. The stresses and joys that we have shared together exemplify the greatest qualities of this class of 2017 and the charter community as a whole, namely our dedication, selflessness, and ambition. Amongst this extraordinary group of students are exceptional leaders of teams and organizations nationally recognized athletes and scholars, and the valuable, hard-working individuals who form the backbone of the prestige of our class. However, our success is not solely our own achievement. We would not be here today were it not for the daily sacrifices of our parents, who have devoted the last 18 years of their lives to shaping us into the incredible young adults we are today. Our teachers, who guided and supported us through the arduous journey of high school, giving us the tools we will need to blaze our own trail through life. And the wonderful Wilcox staff, who created a community of kindness and respect, allowing us to grow into the cooperative, enthusiastic, and intelligent individuals that will lead society to new frontiers. Congratulations to you all for achieving this goal 18 years in the making this momentous occasion. As the valedictorian of the class of 2017, I am honored to have this opportunity to bid you all a final farewell. Although we all have journeyed together on a common road, we are now at the bustling crossroads where we enter the realm of adult life. Each of us will take their own path as our dreams and aspirations take us down different roads. Some of us are continuing our schooling in college or university. Some are joining the military or entering the workforce. But regardless of when you decide to end your schooling, whether it be now, in four years, or many years later, 
I implore you, never end your education. The author Mark Twain once said, I never let my schooling interfere with my education. While I like the spirit of this quotation, I feel that it's a bit harsh towards schooling. So I would rather say, don't let schooling limit your education. Schooling is a formal type of education, given in classrooms, lecture halls, and labs. Schooling is limited to a set number of required classes, each with a fixed curriculum. Education, on the other hand, is so much bigger. Don't be restricted to the options we're giving to further our education. Find other avenues to continue your learning. With the internet at our fingertips, we have unlimited access to a wealth of knowledge that no other generation has ever had. There are articles, magazines, online courses that cover any topic imaginable. All I ask you to do is explore. And if you ever feel overwhelmed by this abundance of information, follow the example of Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. When in doubt, go to the library. I understand that for many of us, education has become synonymous with schooling with all of its baggage. Many of us have forgotten the simple joy of learning buried under the weight of projects, presentations, and tests. So as we leave for the next leg of your journey, remember not the structural midterms. Remember not the intensity of finals week. Remember not the grueling three-hour AP test. Instead, remember that feeling when a math concept just clicked. Remember that feeling when you applied your physics knowledge to a project and it actually worked. Remember that feeling when you created something with your own hands in your ceramics or art classes and it was better than what you could have ever imagined. Remember that feeling when you carried out a chemistry lab and you actually created those unpronounceable compounds that seem to only exist in the pages of a textbook. That feeling, whether you felt it in a math class or a science class or an art class or a history class or an English class, is the true value of learning. That feeling is the education the learning hidden beneath the often unappetizing layer of schooling. Now imagine that feeling unrestrained in all of its glory. This is what awaits you in the rest of your life. Pursue that feeling. Chase it with every fiber of your being. Use all the resources that are available to you and find your passion. That thing that you need to do. That thing that excites you. That thing that makes you wake up in the morning and say, I'm so glad that I get to do this today then dive into that passion and explore every nuance of it. Let it fill your mind and soul. This passion is what will give your life meaning, not the grades you earn or the money you make. This passion is the why of your existence. And if you feel that you have explored your passion to the ends of the earth, then go back to the beginning and find a new one. Never allow yourself to believe that you have learned everything you need to know or will ever want to know. Don't learn for the sake of others or for the sake of a class. Learn for the sake of learning itself. As Steve Jobs said, stay hungry, stay foolish. Keep exploring and your life will be all the more fulfilling for it. Your schooling may be over now or later, but for all of us, no matter what we do, where we go, or who we become, learning is forever.
I would like to get a word to congratulate you all on the successful completion of your high school career. You worked hard to be sitting here today. After successfully navigating elementary and middle school, you can make it here to your graduation day from the Adrian C. Wilcox. Each of you has an individual story to tell that led you to this point. All 451 of you. You should be so very proud of your story, whatever it may be, because it led you here to this day. This is the end of one important chapter of your story. It is also a great beginning to the next chapter that you will write and has a wide open ending. Reaching this significant milestone in your life, your high school graduation, is a great testament to your character. One of the greatest coaches of all time, John Rubin once said, be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think that you are. The paths that led you to this point are not easy. Reaching this milestone was not simply handed to you. You have overcome setbacks, persevered in the face of challenges, and grown as individuals and you've done this all while demonstrating tremendous character. Earning the opportunity to be sitting here at Fitzpatrick Field on June 9, 2017 is a testament to your character. But it is only a part of the bigger story that you are still creating. Here at Wilcox, you have had endless opportunities to live out our motto of being charger strong. During your time here, you have learned lessons big and small. Some of the lessons were learned in the classroom. Some of the lessons were learned out on the field or on the court. More of those lessons were learned at lunch, between classes, or after school. The opportunity you have here to reflect and learn has helped create and shape your character. Every graduate sitting here is an example of a person who is charged strong. This is more than just a model. It is more than painted words in the hallway or printed words on a poster. Every day, as I walk around campus, I see examples of you all living what it means to be Charter Strong. Charter Strong is dem demonstrating the integrity, responsibility, and perseverance both in and out of the classroom to help you earn the diploma that we sit here celebrating today. Charter Strong is celebrating diversity through assemblies, lunchtime activities, clubs, and in the ways in which you all interact and appreciate each other every single day. Charger Strong is caring for the environment and for your school. It is being conscientious, reusing and recycling. It is picking up after yourselves and others to ensure that Wilcox and this world are places that future generations can enjoy just as you did. Above all, being charger strong is a piece of your character that you will take with you onto the next part of your journey. You are a contributing member of this charter community, and these qualities will serve you well in your next endeavor. Whether it takes you to higher education, the military, or the workforce. As you continue writing your own story after you leave the field today, remember that your character is important. Your character is who you are as a person. It is what you think, what you feel, and how you behave. I sincerely hope that each and every one of you embraces what you have learned here at Wilcox, what you have learned about being charter strong, and it is something you will carry with you as you write the next chapters of your stories. Before I officially certify you as the class of 2017, as graduates of Wilcox High School, I'd like to recognize and thank those who have helped each of you on the path that led you here today. Those that have helped make this success possible. Some have indirectly supported you on your journey, while others have had a direct hand in your successes. First, to our school board members. Thank you for guiding and supporting our students through their careers at SUSD. 
graduates, in a few minutes, you will have the opportunity to personally thank these board members who are with us today as they will be presenting you with their diplomas. Would everyone please join me in welcoming and appreciating our school board president, Andy Ratterman. Board Vice President, Noelani Cohan. Board Member, Dr. Michelle Ryan. Board Member, Howard Gonzalez. And Board Member, Mark Richardson. Secondly, to our school district office staff, who work tirelessly to make sure all students and staff have what they need to be successful in the classroom every day. Thank you for joining us here this evening to honor our graduates. Would everybody please join me in welcoming and appreciating our superintendent, Dr. Stan Rose. <laughs> Assistant superintendent of Student Support Services, Andrew Lucia. And our coordinator of health and wellness, Dr. Ben Gonzalez. Next, to your amazing, supportive, and endlessly dedicated Wilcox staff who helped shape your character during these last four years. Please join me in recognizing and appreciating our amazing Wilcox staff and teachers for all they've done for you. And lastly, to your parents, your families, and your friends, join me in recognizing and appreciating those who are by your side, supporting and guiding you each step of the way. Class of 2017, you've studied and achieved. You've demonstrated that you are capable of accomplishing anything you put your mind to, and that you have great character. You have demonstrated that you are charged or strong. I am confident that you will take what you have learned here at Wilcox out into the world and make it a better place for you and for generations to come. I'd like to congratulate you on a job well done. You've earned this, the title of a high school graduate. Before we read the names of each and every charger who has earned a diploma, I would like to pay tribute to one member of the senior class who is no longer with us who will be graduating with us today in spirit, K.K. Wong. K.K. lost her valiant battle with cancer earlier this school year. Would everyone please join me in a moment of silence honoring K.K. Wong this evening. Thank you. Members of the board, I certify that these students have completed the, the study set forth of the Board of Education of the Santa Clara Unified School District and have earned their diplomas. I present to you the class of 2017. Alvarez. 
Jacqueline Chen. Jessica Ankar. Jin K. Chen. Ashley Lynn Anderson. Flora Chung. Travis Ow. Raina Saldad Chipana Valdez. Jonathan Ariaga Mendoza. Kevin Richard Chitwood. Frida Atta. Hara Chowdhury. Adrian Ayala. Tara H. Chu. Jonathan Chicago Acevedo. Johanna Faith Castillo Chua. Darius Bado. Nanginbir Singh Ching. Elizabeth Maria Beta. Gabriella Bridget Clark. James Boldinga. David Bruno Collin. Jesse Banos. Danja Renee Carmen. Alyssa Noel Barkin. Kathleen Gensby. Denise Trinidad Barragan. Alyssa Crawford. Nathan Bassett. Evelyn Cruz. Michaela Andrea Jose Bataclan. Kevin Green. Caleb K. Bellatis. Kijita Gassica. Rosara Luis Bell. Elsie Marissa Davila. Amanda Bellan. Christine Carlos Jesus. Zara Benitez Mendina. Andrew A. Gertinger. Gail Gabetsu. Jonathan Dominic Dewey. Gabrielle Marie Bertrand. And Marie Rivera Dale. Kaya Baker Bird. Igor St. Dylan. Donya Muriel Bishop. Shashank Hitesh Galakia. Kenneth Adam Blow. Shashir Hitesh Galakia. Emily Bokinomi. Jonathan A. Dizon. Zachariah Burdick. Keenan Keon Doe. Delena Sarah Butt. Alan Dabashi. Christian Taliba. Joy Dong. Ryan Donovan. Chanel Monique Gil Fernandez. Brett Alan Doran. Shannon Anand Boko. Kevin Philip Downey. David Gomez. Matthew Duong. Maria Isabel Gomez Sepulveda. Jake Austin Perrotta. Vanessa Renee Gonzalez. Jose Enrique Elias Zaragoza. Ariana Gonzalez. Stephen Engel. Giovanni Gonzalez. Roberto Enriquez. Laura Elizabeth Gonzalez. Wendy Amari Escoza Cruz. Muriel Alexander Gonzalez. Ivan Espinosa. Zuli Melissa Gonzalez. Marcos Tomas Espinosa. Sitlali Clara Gonzalez Gonzalez. Athena Gabrielle Espinosa Mandel. Robert McCary Goodman. Amanda Dolores Escobar. Justice Andrea Greco. Catherine Danielle Evans. Nicholas Joseph Cozen. Tiffany Ann Bama. Tarajit Singh Hudre. Aiden Nabo Fall. Katie Morelli Guerra Martinez. Ika Megumi Fall. Ankur Gupta. Selena Feng. Jake Guzman. Roman Tyler Fernando. Francisco TJ Ha. Ekapaya Kali Kunikuyaki. Jeremy Ha. 
Christian Fitzpatrick. Hamir Hamamat. Alexandra Flores. Brittany Nicole Hart. Andrew Daniel Walker Flores. Christian James Hartley. Kayton Christine Brooks. Ala Nadal Hassan. Patrick Ernesto Zuko. Renee Kim Helfert. Julia Gad. Israel Matthew Fernandez. Noah J. Gallegos. Richard David Herrera. Richard Elias Gallegos. Hagen H. Tilgerbrandt. Nicholas Sterling Banda. Zachary Hill. Alexis Garcia. Alice Huang. Juliana Fejasuarez Garcia. Brandon Kyle Hogan. Lelani Alina Garcia. Tatiana Horosco. Oscar Gerardo Garcia. Daniel Hyde. Tanya Garcia Dubon. Brian Charles Pickle. Stephanie Giselle Garcia Hernandez. Juan Pizar Gutierrez. Eduardo Garcia Oya. Selena Amira Hussein. Fernando Garcia Oya. Daniel King. Mario Andrew Gento. Tyree Leon Jackson. Samantha Gentry. Aditya David. Syed Gori. Trisha Ann Jow. Rodrigo Padon Sanchez. Leo Brian Mapanao. Joanna Jian. Nathaniel Kim Marcello. Emily Johnson. Ali Marichek. Paige Marie Jones. Alexis Martinez. Trufi Kama. Ubaldo Chibi Martinez Flores. Joyce Khan. Darcy Jean Massey. Corinthe Cole Khan. Ian Matthews. Ramya Patraj. Rayvon Jamonte Matthews. Apexa Hanley. Bailey Marie May. Ryan Jonathan Cosner. Angela Rose Mann. Amina D. Kelly. Aiden James McBride. Jeremy William Kennedy. Mariano Medina. Maya Kerr. Janet Christina Medlin. Bijal Kata. Alicia Mendirata. Anna Khan. Mahisha Sheree Mershahi. Nicholas Tibolo. <laughs> Vanessa Mejia. Brian Tyron Kim. April Jaylene Magdalena. Rachel Kinnock. Raina Alexis Jocelyn Mercado. Michael John Collins. Sada Mohammed. Emma Friday. Abdullah Ibrahim Mohammed. Linus Kung. Abdul Samad Sajad Mohammed. Harrison Derek Kwok. Priyam Mohanty. Miha Laka. Sochi Michelle Moncada Tepo. Debbie K. Lamb. Rashita Manga. Jonathan Joseph Lamont. Alexia Danielle Montana. Caitlin Lee. Joseph Morales. Yuan Yuan Lee. Justin Analicia Morales. Melissa Ryan Lindo. Jennifer Morales Flores. Terry Valerio Lira. Cyan Marlene Munoz. Juliana Judith Lopez. Lisa Moran. Janet Carolina Lopez. Abe Marion. Lisbeth Lopez. Fernando Navarrete 
Rebecca Strong, Diego San Martin, Anthony Joseph Clemente Soralta, Miguel Santos, Vivek Sitar, Louis Santos, Sharma Saeed, Paul Wesley Santos, Aksha Kabasan, Anita Marie Santiago, Leo Kareem Tablante, Astrid Santos, Alexis Ben Kalmarch, Rene Lauren Santos, Sione Cahel Falele, Kenka Alexander Sasakado, Christina Trigo Calabriga, Kaiga Sato, Deborah Tespai, Adriana Yesenia Sotega, Sephora Tespai, Maha Saya, Pratnik Bahesh Kansi, Mona Mazomi Saya, Ryan Spoon Chi, Kayla Kwa Chiamasa, Ka Chi, Alisa Kaksukyan Shakin, Desiree Jane Tillman, John Chibo, Aditi Kiramalai, Stuart Lee Scalaro, Nohara Sardina Toma, Adrienne Lauren Scurry, Jonathan Whitman Tomaka, Ryan Scott Cedric, Wesley Tom, Shalom Bobin Shah, Viva Rose Ramos Torrio, Zoha Jones, Albert Bong Tran, Ariane Shama, Brandon Anyong Tran, Neha Shama, Ethan Dong Tran, Mianita Chet, Han Kuk Tran, Julia Shrivatsava, Kevin Tran, Sandra Shrivatsava, Han Ki Bu Tran, Sai Shiram Sidai, Kyle Tran, Mohammed Atif Siddiqui, Shane Tran, Lucida Silva, Tiffany Lauren Tran, Walter Patrice Aguilera Silvera, Salamasina Tukama, Gavin Poop Singh, Kanani Valdez, Diego Anthony Smith, Gerardo Valencia, Raven Aurora Smith, Jessica Valencia, Anita Estefanis Solomon, Leslie Giselle Valencia, Habib Abdullah Salakia, Dalton Kwong Vandermolen, Anu Shirta, Annalise Vanderwart, Aditya Joran, Ron Daniel Vargas Vidal, Hachiru Chirasada, Jaime Ibaldo Vasquez Romero, Stephanie Venegas Cruz, Omar Williams, Anne Vera Cruz, Karen Blake Winningham, Benjamin Alexander Villapando, Helen Yuri Long, Andy Vo, Matthew Rain Long, Justin Vo, Sam Sam Long, Kelly Lauren Vosta, Yi Yi Annie Shang, Emily Vu, Wei Shi, Ashley Ryan, Christine Kwan Yi, Claire Ryan, Marianne Rose Yi. Suzy Warner, Jennifer Yen, Theodore Anderson Weinberger, Joel Marie Yanzen, Jamaica Michelle West, Roger Aiden Yen, Abigail Rose Wheaton, Nicole Lynn Zaskowski, Emmanuel Noir, Isaiah Anthony Chavez, Elias Francisco Herrera, Students, 
please rise for the alma mater. Thank you.